baby, si te busco Dime, baby, ¿qué piensas hacer? Yo, 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 what's good? I was called. Welcome back to our sneaker where we upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I apologize about the crazy. I had a long night last night. I had to study for finals, and then I was up to like 5. I had to wake up at 6.30 and then be on my test by 7.30. I barely made it on time, so I'm sorry if I look like this. But anyways, today I'm going to be talking about tomorrow's Supreme Drop. And I already know you guys are going to go in the comments talking about, oh, you're copying Jacob Star, this and that. In a way, yes, I am because I'm talking about the drops, but he's not the only one that does that. And two, anybody can do whatever they want on YouTube. Like, this is my channel. I can do what I want. So if you guys want to go ahead and hit in the comments, go ahead and do so. I mean, that'll just rank my video higher. So I'll actually appreciate the fact that you guys go in the comments and hate by the way i do want to give a big shout out to the person that bought the mask today i don't want to say the name just in case they want their name to be private but big shout out to you you know who you are anyways the reason i decided to start talking about supreme and just drops like this well i don't really like do all the clothing i really just know more about supreme since it's like what i've been focused on lately since i've been trying to get my clothes up since i've already like i have too many shoes and i feel like i don't have much clothes to go with it so i figured i gotta start buying clothes but don't get me wrong this channel is still gonna be talking about sneakers it's gonna be like more of a mixture of just clothing overall basically just fashion and lately i have been copying at least something every single week before before, I was never able to cop anything and lately I've been copying manually and if you guys want me to make a video on that let me know in the comments down below if you do I mean there's so many out there which I already use somebody's technique but if you guys want me to explain it in a video then I'll go ahead and do it if you guys really want me to and one more thing before I continue I do gotta give a shout out to these three people these three accounts on Instagram I know I'm taking so long to start the video but I just feel like I gotta give credit to them because they did help me make this video and one person is obviously drops by Jay he always drops every single week what's dropping unfortunately he doesn't have the full drop list but from other accounts I figured out what else is dropping another account is hype supreme life and the last one that kind of has like resale prices is galliano miami if that's how you pronounce it finally moving on starting off with the first picture we do have this parka supreme is selling it in a black and orange and also this weird pattern i don't know what to call it the price point for this i think is going to be like around 400 to 500 somewhere around there i think it's going to be more on the 500 end and supreme always raises the prices for their jackets especially parkas like this my opinions on this is that the price point is too high it'd be cool to have so when i go to places during the winter but living in florida it's not really necessary so i figured i don't really need to cop this and as far as resale goes i could buy it and resell it but for me i just don't like buying high price points things and trying to resell it because if you can't resell it then you're stuck with it and you pretty much end up losing that money so i prefer to not go for this one at all the next one is these hoodies i don't know the name of them because i really don't care about them they do come in all these colors you guys can see i'm not gonna go ahead and name them all but my opinion on these i personally do not like that face like that really weird cartoonish face i just think it looks stupid that's not something i would go for but i know people do go ahead and buy that and resell it so if that's something you want then go ahead but i would not personally go for it on this drop because there are other things that are more hyped next up is this crew neck that has the vertical lines and there's only three colorways there's like a gucci colorway then there's like these two other colorways honestly the only one i would personally go for if i were to actually get this would be the gucci one the other two are just pretty much plain and ugly i really don't like them and i don't even like the gucci one to be honest but if i had to choose one it'd be the gucci one so if you guys want to go ahead and get that you guys can go ahead and resell it as far as the price point goes on this one i'm not exactly too sure next up i'm gonna talk about is the sled i am in love with this thing like i know it's pointless for me to have it like i said i don't live anywhere near where it snows even though it did snow this weekend in pensacola it's still really no point for me to actually get this sled because i'm probably never gonna use it unless i actually go travel but when i go to travel it'd be so hard for me to actually take this thing with me on a plane the only reason i would actually get this would be to have it as decoration in my room but i think that i'm gonna go for it since it is a really hype item this drop and i know a lot of people are gonna pay resale for it so i'll probably buy it and then resell it next up are the box logo beanies that match the box logo hoodies that dropped last week honestly i'm not a big fan of beanies overall i would get the beanies just to resell them i would go for probably the yellow colorway the gray colorway the black one maybe the brown one because i know that one got hype out of nowhere so i'm pretty sure that the beanie will be hype as well next up are the hats which i really don't care about and i'm pretty sure people will buy them but the resale will be super low so i'm not even gonna bother talking about those but what i do want to talk about is the headbands that you see right here these are super fire like regardless if you're gonna wear them during christmas time or not they're super dope especially the green one i like that one the most the green one has like a lot more of that christmas feel to it the red supreme one you can most likely wear year round and as i see right there it is a new era collab i don't know how much the headbands are going for but regardless of the price i'm most likely gonna go for that green one and keep it for my personal use because i'm in love with it and as you guys know i always wear headbands and stuff and i feel like that'd be pretty cool to like just wear to have something supreme on my head next up is the guitar that they're dropping it is a supreme fender stratocaster well it's just a fender stratocaster but all they're doing is throwing a supreme logo on there on the box and on the guitar honestly the box is super fire i just wish it wasn't for a guitar i would buy that and i'd definitely keep it i'd probably use it like as a barber case if i could but unfortunately it's meant for the guitar the fender stratocaster which is really like a classic guitar i personally never owned it and i used to play guitar i used to be really big i used to be in a band i used to have a band but my honest opinions on this guitar it is nice that it's all white i just think it's so like out of whack that they put a supreme logo on there and honestly this i would not 
And honestly, I would not get this guitar because it sucks. If you guys play guitar and you guys know, those pickups suck. And I personally don't like them. They really don't have like a good sound to them when you go ahead and play it. But if you guys don't play guitar, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about right now. Honestly, people would just get this to have this in the room just to flex it. The retail price is $1,998, which is dumb expensive, especially for this guitar. These guitars, you can find them for way cheaper. But obviously, because it has Supreme on it, it's going to be way more expensive. But if you do end up getting this, you could expect to resell it around $3,500 to $5,000. And honestly, the strap is dope. But like I said, the rest of the guitar is just kind of whack. I don't really like it. Not something I would get. If I were to get that, I would actually try to keep it. I was thinking about buying it until I like saw the retail price. And I was like, nah, no way I'm going to buy a guitar for that much. If I'm not going to play it, I don't even have an amp anymore. I ended up selling that. So there really would be no point. On top of that, I live in like an apartment that has three floors. So that would just annoy the crap out of everybody. Last but not least, we're going to get down to the T's. There is six of them. There is the Gons T, the Horror T, Fire T, Dog Crap T, Arabic Logo Long Sleeve T, and the Christmas T. My favorite one out of them all, and it's most likely the hypest one, it is the Arabic Logo Long Sleeve T. I would personally acquire this for my personal use, which kind of sucks because there's so many things in this drop that I would keep for myself. I know I'm going to be going to New York, so I really should not be spending this money. But in the end, it's just super fire. You probably won't have another chance to get it, and I really don't like paying resale for my thing, so I will try to get it this drop for sure. And according to this picture right here, it looks like there's an orange one as well. Then on the right of that one, you see a Christmas T. On the left of that one, I think you see the Chainsaw Massacre. And then to the left of that one, there's another one. And then on the left of that one, there's another one. The last two on the left are irrelevant. And it looks like there's also a brown one of the Arabic long sleeve tee. If you guys look at the roll below it. So I think as of right now, there's only three colorways, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be more because I'm pretty sure they're not going to just drop three colorways of this long sleeve tee. They're most likely going to drop more. You can expect this long sleeve to go for like $50 to $60, maybe more. You can expect the resale to be high on this as well. So whatever price it is, it is going to resell for higher than that. I'm going on to the horror tee. Honestly, this one's ugly, the Chainsaw Massacre one. I don't like shirts that have like box pictures on them. The only cool thing is that it has the Supreme going down the side, but you can barely see it since the letters are so thin. However, people are still gonna go for it because you know it's hype. I know you guys can get this and most likely resell it. The next one is a Christmas tee, which is really stupid. It just has like a bunch of sex positions, which I'm pretty sure some people are gonna buy, which I'm pretty sure is gonna sell out regardless. But the resale on this, I don't think will be too high. I don't personally like it. I would not get this, not even to resell because I don't want to risk that. And the other tees, like the Gons tee, the Fire tee, and the Dog Crap tee, are most likely not even worth mentioning. Those are pretty much just pretty much just be a waste of space on the website. The first thing I'm gonna go for is definitely the sled and then the bandana and then the beanies but i feel like i should go for the beanies first because i feel like that's going to sell out first and the resale is going to be fairly high on that let me know in the comments down below what i should go for first the sled the beanie the bandana or the long sleeve arabic tee those are the four things that i want two of them to resell the other two to keep hopefully i can get all four if not at least two what i really want to resell i think would be the beanie because that would be easier to sell since it's cheaper and the resale high won't be so high however the sled is going to be like around a hundred dollars and then the resale is going to be like around 90 to 130 dollars over retail but there you have a smaller market because you have less people willing to spend more money but anyways guys that's pretty much it for today i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we're trying to get to 25,000 by the end of this year stay tuned stay tuned for tomorrow's video or friday's video for a sneaker collection video because i am leaving soon i do leave friday to go to miami to catch a flight up to new york which i'm going to sneaker con if you guys are new and just watching you guys didn't know that i'm going to be at sneaker con new york the 16th and the 17th go by and say what's up i am down to meet you guys i would be really happy to one more thing i want to say is that christmas is approaching and i feel like i have something to give back to you guys which i might be doing a giveaway starting this weekend i'm not exactly too sure most likely will be announced either tomorrow or friday and it's basically just a way to give back to you guys and saying thanks for subscribing and giving you all a fair chance to get this special item and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what that is anyways today's fan of the day does go to this is dnl big shout out to you always showing love in the comments every single video i see you i notice you i appreciate that a lot to be honest anyways guys that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you stay woke it's your boy yeah yeah